children today we will solve division sums in which we get a one digit quotient and the remainder as zero before we begin this let us revise the terms used in division look at this example a number that divides another number is called the divisor here number 8 is the divisor the number to be divided is called the dividend here number 16 is the dividend the answer that we get on dividing the numbers is called the quotient here number 2 is the quotient the number that remains after dividing is called the remainder here number 0 is the remainder do you know when the remainder is 0 we call it exact division now let us begin solving some sums hmm what numbers shall we take i think let us divide 20 by 5 let us start here as 5 is the divisor we will use the table of 5 So think how many times 5 is 20 right 4 times 5 is equal to 20 hence we write 4 as the quotient now write 20 below the dividend next subtract 20 from the dividend we get zero as the remainder thus dividend divided by divisor is equal to quotient for the above example 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4 so here we got a one digit quotient that is 4 and 0 as the remainder kids let us solve another example so that you can understand better let us find the quotient for 63 divided by 9 here as 9 is the divisor we will use the table of 9 how many times 9 is 63 7 times 9 is equal to 63 therefore we will write 7 as the quotient further write 63 below the dividend subtract 63 from the dividend the final remainder we get is 0 we know that dividend divided by divisor is equal to quotient for this sum 63 divided by 9 is equal to 7 so quotient is equal to 7 and remainder is equal to 0 by now you must have understood the concept the next example will be a quicker one what is the quotient for 30 divided by 6 we know 5 into 6 is equal to 30 so we will write 5 as the quotient now write 30 below the dividend subtract 
thirty from the dividend. We get zero as the remainder. So we say thirty divided by six is equal to five. Wasn't that quick? Hope you all understood it properly, kids. Now it is time for you to practice and learn.